If you want to know what frame rate you are getting in Starfield, then you have come to the right video, because I will be showing you how you can display an FPS counter in the game. Now I will be showing you two ways you can do this. The first way, you do not need to download any additional software. The second way, you will only be able to do this if you purchase Starfield through Steam. So before we get started, I just want to quickly show you a program that I created called Easy Game Utility. So this is what the program looks like. On the first section here on Clean, you will be able to click Cache Files for Game Launchers and also your Graphics Card. On Files, you can find the location of Config Files, Save Data. Drivers, you can clear old drivers for your Graphics Cards. Network offers many different network tools. Launch, you can change the priority of how a game launches. And then we have the Fix tab, which is a very helpful tab. It allows you to fix games that aren't working correctly on your computer. And there's also a custom game fixing option at the bottom. So that is Easy Game Utility. It's a very handy program to have installed on your computer. And I will pop the link in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. So, like I said, the first way that you can display an FPS counter in Starfield is by using a program or feature that's built into Windows called the Xbox Game Bar. And to open this up, all you need to do is hold down the Windows key and press G on your keyboard. Once you've done that, you will then end up with a bar at the top. You now need to click onto the monitor icon to open up the performance stats of your computer. You will now see that it's shown the CPU, GPU, VRAM and RAM and FPS of what your computer's up to. And it will also have a graph. Now you can choose to either show the graph or not show the graph. If you click on the arrow, it will obviously hide the graph or open it up. You also have a pin icon at the top, which you can use this to pin, which you do need to do to pin all the counters onto your screen. If you want to, so I'm just going to click on the top here, so hover to the top, you can click onto the three lines, which you can see on my screen at the moment. Sorry, I've taken pictures because you can't actually film or record the game bar. If you click onto this, you will then bring up the performance options. Now here under metrics, you can choose what you would like to display. So if you want to show the FPS only, then deselect all the other metrics. So CPU, GPU, VRAM and RAM. Now, as you can see on my screen, I'm in Starfield and it's shown the FPS in the top right hand corner. So that's how you can use the Xbox Game Bar to display the FPS. Now, the second way of displaying an FPS counter within Starfield is by using Steam. Like I said at the start of the video, you will only be able to do this if you purchase the game through Steam. So once you have the program open, go ahead and click on Steam in the top left hand corner and then go to settings. Once you have settings open, you now need to select in-game and you then need to find the option that says in-game FPS counter. So as you can see, mine currently says top left. You need to go ahead and choose the location where you'd like to display the FPS counter. It can be in the top left, top right, bottom right or bottom left. Once you've done that, you can also change the contrast if you want by toggling this option. And that's it. As soon as you boot up Starfield now, you will see an FPS counter in the corner that you selected. So I hope this video did help you out and you enjoyed it. If you did, then click the like button below. And if you want to see more, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.